Um, when undertaking a product development, um, one, of, one of the critical things is to kind of understand um, your, your IP issues and manage those as well, and understand the risks of protecting too early, protecting incorrectly, or protecting too late. Um, it's a fine balance in which to go to, but one, one thing that's very, very important is that you, you keep control of that uh, and understand the, the pitfalls of it. Um, one risk of protecting too early is that if you if you start going into if you start getting into kind of IP protection, you can very quickly kind of start time bombs like clocks ticking, and then actually you're you're racing against false deadlines. The deadlines that have been put onto you because you're protecting your your IP too early. And there's many different ways that you can go about protecting IP in terms of uh, a product development. And the, and the best one, of course, is just to um, kind of keep it confidential. Um, anybody that you speak to, if you can sign them up to a confidentiality agreement, obviously that kind of keeps everything in terms of a close, protected uh, group of people that, 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 that will allow you to take that through. And really the next stage is to get the right inter uh, intellectual property protection. There are, very, there are many forms. Uh, there's copyright, there's design right, there's patents, there's um, uh, in terms of graphics, there's, um, there's trademarking, uh, the list is endless. Um, and it's very important that you kind of pick a stage where we've started to find what the actual product is and how it may work, or in terms of the graphics, you know, what that final graphic may look like. And at that point, I would very much recommend actually to consult an IP lawyer. They can be a little on the expensive side, but if you get the information wrong, you can incorrectly protect, incorrectly protect your IP. And the pitfalls of that is that you have no protection whatsoever in the fact that the value that you potentially had has now been lost. The dangers of protecting too late um, are kind of less obvious. Um, if you protect too late, you can inadvertently kind of get it out into the mainstream. And so it's basically as you're going to move into a development stage, it's probably around, around, around about the kind of right point to sort of think about protection and certainly starting to get some of the cogs in motion. So you've got your proof of concept, so you've got your concept, you know where it's going, you've proven that it works, and you're now can tell it, oh, this is around about the kind of right time to kind of move into IP protection. If you're going to leave it too late, inadvertently you can speak to a manufacturer or somebody like that, not sign them up, and actually that's it out in the public domain. So it's just something to be careful of.